Hey, what's up guys? Ricardo Laguna back at it with another DIY project. Today I got gifted a gym, which I'm gonna attempt to put into my garage. But is your garage a mess? Join the club. Today I'm gonna give myself some projects to make my garage look organized, gain some space, and hopefully give you some great ideas so we can make a messy garage look phenomenal. First step is emptying out this garage, and for that, I got a couple amigos to help me out. Let's go. Well, now that we have a clear canvas and we got the gymnasium set up, it's time for me to get some dimensions so we can figure out how I'm gonna do this shelving. So originally I wanted to do metal, but it costs $15. That's gonna cost me an arm and a leg by the time I buy all of them. So sticking to wood. Woo! All right, I think I got everything. Let's get to work. All right guys, I needed 14 two by fours, three two by threes, three sheets of plywood, which is four by eight. Did not have a stud finder. There's gonna be another portion of the project, some hangers and more wood for the bike rack, which all came out to about $165. Oh yeah. Can't forget about my blueprint. So enough talking, let's get to work. All right, this two by four got cut in half. So let's start cutting so we can start framing. All right guys, now that I have my 15 foot long shelving, it's time to start screwing. They're about a foot apart. Right there, I will need to do a joint. So let's get screwing. Oh, and a little trick to the trade. Have your two by fours against a surface so they doesn't move and it stays still because I'm a one man band. Perfect. Next step, put safety first. Well, now that we have the framing all finished, it's time for us to start sheeting it. One key thing, there's a crease right here that would land right exactly with the sheet. So we're gonna make sure we go the opposite direction so we can cover the crease, making the frame super strong and sturdy. So now it's time to start screwing. One tool that I highly recommend for this project is this decking drill. I feel like Rambo. Who are you? Worst nightmare. But we'll speed the whole process because it's so simple and you can continue going like you see the light. Alright, now that everything got put together, time to paint so we can start mounting. Painting is done, now we wait for everything to dry up. Mother Nature was on our side because no rain showed up, so let's start assembling. All right, guys, things are coming along super well. We got the clean, I don't know if that's a proper name. Jason, that's what he said it's called on this tree. What I do know, I think it's called the L bracket, so I'm down myself. After that, we just need to bring the shelving, which for that, we're gonna have the assistance of the young buck of Matt. Look at those bazookas. So enough talking, let's get lifted. Ah! Guys, one other thing that is super important, make sure you hit your studs. Remember, I purchased this stud finder. It was wonderful. You basically, oh, you scan and that's where you find the stud and you put some screws and you're good to go. All right guys, so it's time for me to build the bike rack. I originally had the plan of just a traditional fly on the ground, put a rack and then the bike's gonna stand there. But as you can see, I don't have enough real estate to be moving around here and get to the water softener as well as my water heater. I was gonna go with something more fancier and more elaborate which I can make a little mechanism on the roof and then basically a pulley system will go up but I have a fetish for bikes from the sounds of it because I have four bikes so that would not give me enough room. So I'm just gonna do the simplest and easiest bike rack against the wall and put a bracket, put some hangers and on our way we should go. So if that's what's his plan, my four bikes will fit. So wish me luck. Guys, the most important part is finding your studs. I already found them, I already got them lined up. So now I'm ready to start screwing away our bracket. But I think for that, I'm gonna need an extra hand. And who better than my lovely mom, if she can come over here and help me. Mom, por favor, me podrías ayudar? Claro que sí, siempre. Gotta say, my mom, she's an ace. Ella todo el tiempo me ayuda. Sin su ayuda, no sé dónde yo estuviera. Uh -huh. 
ok? Toma eso, este man, por favor. I'm ready. Tenemos el juego y los tornillos ahora. Here goes the first bike. All right, now we gotta continue. So, let's hit the next one. Okay. Two up, two down. That should give us more than enough room to fit all four bikes. This looks good. Pero se me olvidó. Tengo cinco bicis. I forgot. Mm -hmm. I actually have five bikes. So hopefully we can fit the fifth one. You even got a spare hook. What can I say? Dream team. All right, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for, all this hard work paid off, and I'm ready to brag all about it. Come on, check out this nice and neat garage with plenty of shelving all over the place. They created for all these tools, plaques, awards. Big things can go on top of the big shelf. Right here, this became a work area. We got boxes. We have another area on the upper level for more shelving. Best of all, the whole gym fits in here. You don't have to worry about moving anything so you can hit the gym. Concentrate all the tools, sound system for the backyard, which will give you a little sneak peek of that looks. Just gives us a little, oh, that's all you get for now. We'll show you the backyard in a second too. But my favorite is how the bikes fit so properly in here. I thought I only had four bikes, turns out I have five. A new addition that wasn't really planned out. It was a helmet rack so we can pull up pads and get ready to go ride in the backyard. So as that said, Ricardo Laguna, I'm off to my next DIY.